we use this? Yeah, yes, this you absolutely can. That's, that's why I kind of did that. I said, I have just 90% coverage, and you looked at it, and like, hmm. And you look at that, it looks like I did nothing right there. Looks like you used too much. I did, absolutely. <laughs> and I do that on purpose, actually, initially, just to show how, you know, even half a bottle, you say, ooh, that was impressive. That's amazing. Let's do it again. This happens a lot sometimes if you're dealing with uh, cars out there. You'll end up having one crash, you get one spill cleaned up, and something else happens, and you got another one, and then you're at a speedy drive. We're talking about a uh, product that works on over 300 uh, different chemicals. 320 different chemicals right Whether now. Whether it's acid, fees, hydraulic fluid. Yep. Just reuse it, just pour it right back over the top, let it do its thing. You might need to give it a couple more seconds to go into it, but when you're out there, particularly if you're dealing, like I say, with gasoline, you got it cleaned up in very quick water. I was gabbing through the last thing right here, but this time you look at it. Just keep moving around, just try and get the fresh powder. <laughs> Try and get the fresh powder on it with the broom. Just keep moving around. And your customers are not freaked out anymore when they don't smell the gasoline anymore. And you notice we just did two spills out there. And maybe your nose is getting a little bit used to it, but it's not as much of a smell. Oh, I can certainly not smell as much being right over it right here. But you're completely done. And then when it comes to disposal, when you deal with kitty litter out there, you know it all too well. <laughs> oil-soaked or gas-soaked kitty litter, it's a mess. It's just really hard to pick up out there, and this stuff is still a dry powder like this. And if you look at my fingers, they're a little bit shiny. Yeah. So it absorbs 90% of the material to the inside of it, 10% is still on the surface, that's why you still get a little bit of vapor to it. And my fingers will now smell the transmission fluid out there, but this is a whole lot easier to clean up than you would if you had to deal with um, why aren't you um, just using the, like grocery stores and stuff to put it on well, shelves, you know? The big, the big issue that comes down to is, and this is why we like to do this here, is it's a training issue. Most people, when they've been dealing with kitty litter out there, there's going to be a tendency to say, you know what, this stuff's too light, it's not going to work, and boom, they dump the whole barrel or the whole bottle or the whole bag or something on it. They overwhelm it out there because they're so used to kitty litter. You would need to do that same job. You would need about two of these. And you need the full thing of this. <coughs> well, it be, yeah, it's, it's just a huge amount of difference. And you can it's reuse crazy, the stuff yeah, until it maxes stuff. out. <laughs> now here's the fun thing too that I like. This is what happens a lot of times at a gas station. You get that kitty litter out there uh, and you gotta get rid of it. You gotta put it somewhere. But you got kitty litter that's now completely full of gasoline. Out there, you know, it's like don't let a match. This is why they have no smoking signs. Sorry, the, ha there. the hazmat team in New York they, they want to use a vacuum, like a shop vac. To yeah, pick it up. you can actually shop vac it if you wanted to. Yes, but let's uh, clean it up. One man, you know, out there with the pumps, and you go out there, you put all your kitty litter out. Can you do that? Can you clean up two spills? Oops, no, you don't like any help right there. Um, <laughs> the point is, even if they're pretty dexterous with it, as I should be, but I'm not at the moment, you're all done. And you got a little bit that sticks to the thing, but you don't have the entire, you know, all the rocks and the goo and everything sticking to it. And it's like the firemen hate that. When they have to do hazmat cleanups, they're like trying to shake the stuff off, and it's a big problem. And you're done. And yes, I could have used that a third time. So you have this, the city firefighters are using this? Yep. Hazmat in particular, uh, Special Operations Command. The squads, the rescues, and the um, uh, hazmat one itself. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's just remarkably versatile. Now that's nice. You know, I just did a nice little spill of um, uh, a mixture of stuff right there, but you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be that. Frank, one of the things that we're trying to work on is trying to get this one pound package into uh, all the first responders. So we're talking about the police departments, and we're talking about the EMS because it's so easy to carry around. Yep. In the past, they didn't have an option because nobody wanted to take up the space with the 50-pound right. bag of mm -hmm. uh, kitty litter. So now fun. there's an option. There's a little antifreeze, and let's mix a little concoction up here. This is gear lube. You ever use that stuff? 90 weight, thick, gooey, it's like molasses. You know, we'll mix some of that in there. This is a... It's an all men thing. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. This is an eight-year-old's <laughs> delight here. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, let's really have some fun. No, you let's mix some. You, yeah. Yeah. you ever uh, get to um, see a telephone pole get knocked down? Yeah, it's Transformer. It's not gear oil, it's mineral oil. That's what they transform oil in there. So let's do something. This is why Con Ed is also starting to use green stuff.